Oh boy, howdy, what is... Oh my gosh, ow. Good, good, good. Oh, okay, thought I was gonna fall. Got a free one here. Okay, with what he's about to do. That's what he's about to do. Gross. Got my little viney goo monsters away. Oh, we have a little head that's there. Huh? Okay, that's not weird. Second blow up. Alright, what's next? Got his ass. Fucking saved. Right at the end. You're shitting me. Oh, please tell me you're not. Okay, doesn't start me completely over. What is this for? Get on the stupid. Thank you. I didn't know what it was for. So I can get to him. I got this as I fall to my death. Get careful my shot here. Oh my god, I'm supposed to do that. Oh my god, I saved it. There we go. It's alright, we got there in the end, anyways. <laughs> That hand out. We got his body. And we got his head. Oh. What? I know your secret. Many others were framed and jailed for your graffiti. You wanted to be perfect, to never get caught. I trusted you. You even tried to kill me. Because I found out your dad was a corrupt cop that kept you out of trouble. <laughs> so what? Is that it? Who am I not to make use of my roots? <laughs> I'll city my ass. You're a coward, killing people just to hide from reality. <laughs> you never knew what it was like. No one was going to accept me if they knew about my dad. I had no choice. Why don't you understand? Huh? Now, Felix. You betrayed me first. Not my problem. Oh, I missed the red helmet already. Got you. Hell yeah. We did it.
And the achievement is defeat the final boss. So we did it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Everybody? Yo! Bomb Rush is all city. So they got up and made a change. But there are things you can't change. Your age, your roots. You better own rock that shit. In the end, what defines you is what you do with the stuff you got. Hey yo, where's Felix at? Yo! I never thanked you for bringing me back. Back to life, back to the reality of myself. Mm. You did most of the work yourself. But don't think for a second you'll be all city oh. forever. This ain't over. Steady, that that. All right, that was Bomb Rush Cyberpunk. I enjoyed this game a whole lot. As a spiritual successor to Jet Set Radio and Jet Set Radio Future, I think they did a really good job. They revamped it. They changed it enough to not just be Jet Set Radio Future, like. You could get off of your ride that you rode. They gave you multiple rides, so you weren't just on skates. You had the bike or you had the skateboard option. Like, not much changed mechanic-wise for it, but visually, you know, having that change is always nice. But you can also get off of it and just walk around. That was cool. Um, the jet pack, the, having the boost pack was a cool change. Um, the music was really good. Um, and I said this yesterday, but from what I read um, and heard about, they got... I don't remember. I don't know if it was the main guy, but they got one, the main guy, if not one of the people that worked on the soundtrack for Jet Set Radio, to work on the soundtrack for this game. Uh, so that's really cool. Um, the music was fresh. Like Jet Set Radio had bops and beats and great, like catchy tones, and this did too. Um, I think they did a good job of like modernizing the music, so it wasn't just what Jet Set Radio was. It was more. It fit more with the the generation that this came out with um at least my in my opinion um the the art was cool having the different um designs that you could uh graffiti were cool having a little mini game to graffiti instead of just pressing the button enough times in, in line with the symbols um that was cool the story was cool i enjoyed the story i thought it was interesting uh between initially you're just trying to get your head back as because you think you're playing you think the entire time you're playing as Fox, but the whole point, the whole time you're playing as Felix, trying to remember himself. It was cool. Yeah, Hide Hideke, not uh, him. That was somebody who worked on Jet Set Radio music. We worked on, it looks like, only some of the soundtrack for this. He might have helped make some of it, and these might be like actual like singers, because this, I think, this had uh, a lot of like, much like Jet Set Radio feature had, it has a lot of like, some lyrical stuff in it here and there um but yeah i mean i i thoroughly enjoyed it i think they did a really good job um doing it with you know none of the not necessarily none but you know with it not being sega not having the structure already built i think they did a really good job of uh building off of what jet set radio laid and making it still their own thing. Um, and yeah, I had a lot of fun. I think it was a good game. Um, I only have the first episode uploaded on YouTube. It'll probably be a while before I get the rest of them uploaded. Um, because I'm just, I've got a giant backlog. I'm at like 30 something videos sitting on my computer that I need to go through and um, uh, get uploaded. 
um this one and yesterday's will still be put in the format i'll say this now yesterday's and today's will still be put in the format of my video so uh, the first one is like 25 minutes long so i'm still gonna keep when i upload them i'm still gonna keep them to 25 30 minutes long to fit with the format i was doing with this game um just so that way they can um there's not you know eight to ten you know five to ten 30 minute ones and then an hour and a half one and then a five hour one you know um i'm gonna keep them in the format um that's gonna mean some potential iffy cuts and stopping points but you know that's what we'll do uh because i don't want to necessarily five hours is a hard sell for people to sit through um and i know people do it and i know um, a lot of streamers that have big YouTube channels as well will just post VODs and let people do it, and those will do well. But um, I don't necessarily want to do that. I want to keep it sticking to the format. Um, so, yeah, if you enjoyed it, if you like Jetside Radio and you were wanting something to hold you over until Sega comes out or finally makes the remake slash potential sequel to Jetside Radio... Uh, I, I can't recommend this enough. This was a lot of fun. It it scratched all of the itches I had for Jet Set Radio. I put him back on the fucking skateboard. Um, it scratched all the itches for me, so uh, I had a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I might come back. I'm a little hungry, so I think what I'm gonna do if I come back, I might do I might load up another do what I'm doing now and load up another game that I can stream and record for a series because I've got a couple series that I'm sitting on on my YouTube that I haven't finished that I would like to make some dents into that I just haven't had the energy or the time to because of work. Uh, so if I do end up coming back live again, it probably won't be for a couple of hours. I'm going to go make me some food um, and eat and kind of relax for a bit because it has been five hours. It took me five hours. I played five hours today. It's a fun game. Um, overall, at least for me, and I didn't do, I didn't do a whole lot of the side stuff, but it took me, I think my runtime in total for the game, nine hours. It's not too terribly long, but that's not bad for a small, like, little indie game. Um, I don't, I don't know if these, I don't necessarily remember who the publisher was or what all they've worked on as well. Um, but I, I still think it was, I, I I think it's worth it. Um, I don't think it was too expensive. Oh, I mean, it was a $40 game. It's a little expensive, but um, I still enjoyed it. I think, I think, I think it's worth it. Um, let me see. Team Reptile is the developers. Uh, they did Lethal League Blaze. Uh, they, so they are developers of Lethal League, which I, I've seen some videos on. Um, it definitely fell off a little bit, but I heard it was good a lot of fun um but yeah that's gonna that's gonna do it for now that is gonna do it for at least this initial stream again check back in in a couple hours and maybe an hour or so ish if i decide to come back on to do something um i might not because i might just go inside and play midnight suns instead uh but we'll see i don't know what i'm feeling like yet uh i'm not decided yet but that's gonna do it Twitch, YouTube. That was the end of uh, Bomb Rush Cyberfunk. I hope you guys enjoyed the series. I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Um, I had a ton of fun with it. It was a blast. Um, check us out on... Uh, check my buddies out, Mega Patches and Sparmy Dolphin on Tuesdays for our Tuesday sessions live. If you want to watch live, I don't... I won't, I won't do live Tuesday sessions unless it's a game that's better made for it, like Ultimate Chicken Horse or like uh, Tabletop or games like that more party games i probably won't stream um and those will stick to recordings uh we are playing valheim currently we are close to what is the current end of the game um for valheim um and i'm excited for that i'm excited to get through it i'm excited to play more of it so check us out on tuesdays you can check them out on their twitch channels um my buddy mega patches and i do some things here and there on the side by ourselves together uh cooperatively we have um what do we have up so far we have Operation Tango, which was a fun uh, co-op game that we played. We've got uh, an Ocarina of Time randomizer boss race, where we race to uh, see who can beat a boss first. And then we have a co-op run uh, uploaded. Um, both to my channel and to his 
YouTube channel. Again, Mega Patches, same thing. Uh, has his Twitch. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed, check us out. Come hang out. We are, at least me and Patches, and, and probably primarily me, I'm trying to want to build a community where when we do party games we can we can fill lobbies and we can have fun and we can do stupid stuff with friends we're trying to make connections we're trying to be social we're trying to be adults and make uh friends so um yeah tune in stick around check us out do all the stuff um i don't post a whole lot to my social medias i have them i have twitter um i don't do a whole lot on it um because right now this is still a hobby this stream was very just kind of, eh, fuck it. Uh, I don't stream regularly because my internet doesn't always hold up. As you've probably seen if you've been around the whole time, my, it's dropped and come back. Uh, where are we at? We're at 10 seconds now, so it's done it three or four times so far. Um, which isn't bad compared to what would be, be the case before, but it's still very iffy. YouTube is still very much my primary, uh, primary hobby, primary place you could find me. Um, post a whole lot we don't necessarily have a discord set up yet um gotta do some talks and rework some things potentially for that but <coughs> yeah that's that i'm gonna stop rambling and i'm gonna go get some food because i'm fucking hungry so with that being said guys girls everything in between and whatever the hell you want to labor yourself as remember just be decent do the little things it's not all i have to do but it does help make life be just a little bit easier but that is all I have for you. So I will see you in the next one. Peace.